Hello guys, this is the Gaming Seed. Uh, welcome to part 44 of Pokemon Black. In this part, we're going to be starting up Route 8. Which is the first route that we need to take to get to Opelucid City, which is the location of the 8th Gym Badge. So you're going to want to spray a repel because there are wild Pokemon in these puddles, remember. Just like in Icera City. And I jumped right onto a special battle. Stunfisk. The Stunfisk? I just have to say something. You suck! And you're only level 15. And I fought him because all experience is good experience, am I right? And you're gonna come up and get the TM36 Sludge Bomb. Very good poison type move. Don't know who I'll be teaching that to. And up here, something to pair along with Sludge Bomb the Poison Barb. This will power up any poison type moves you have. Obviously, not counting like Toxic or whatever. But anyway, yeah. Let's start off Route 8 by fighting this. Pokemon Ranger. And this guy's just saying that he cherishes Mother Nature. Well, good for him, I guess. Cub Chew. Okay, I just want to get this thing out of the way because it's ice type and I don't want to risk getting hurt by an ice type move. Okay, it just did slash. I could have DD'd up here, but whatever. And I'll just finish it off with a slash of my own. That, or you're gonna use Endor. And down goes the Cub Chew. That's the annoying thing about Cub Chews is that they endure. Palpitoad. I'm gonna make a switch here to Leaveny. Because the thing is evolved, and it can be a threat to Axu, which, keep in mind, is still considered to be on the Little Cup, even though it's close to evolving. And Froish is 35, very nice. Um, I'm Aractus. Uh, go Vanillish. Yeah, like, ever since I got Frillish, I've had a really good team against Grass types. Because, I mean, Ice type, Bug type, Flying type, Fire type. Grass types do come with a lot of weaknesses, though. Alright, now when seasons change, Mother Nature gives us things. And he will give you a Petra Berry to heal up any poisons you may have. Splish splash sounds. Those were your footsteps, weren't they? So cute. Whatever. Yeah, whatever. Just pop that off the screen. There we go. Parasol Lady Melita. Ooh, frillish. Hey, look, it's Jellyhead's sister. I'm only kidding. <laughs> I'm gonna DD up here. Ominous wind. Ooh, I'm so scared. Uh, I don't know if I can live another one, so I'm just gonna go for the dragon claw right here. Um, this would have actually been kind of good for Frillish because I'm faster and I have a more powerful ghost type move. Ducklet. I don't have anything good against ducklets because I don't have an electric type. So strong, too strong to be cute again. Stuff on my screen that gets annoying after a while. Full heal. Now I'm gonna heal um, Axu using a hyper potion. Mm. 
Now I'm actually going to do a bit of item switching just for this trainer though. I'm going to take the experience share off of um, Frillish and give Axu a lucky egg. Um, just for this one trainer though. Because she actually does have an evolved Pokemon, a fully evolved Pokemon. And up there is the more of Iceris. I don't know if I'll, I'll be covering that in this walkthrough, but yeah, it's Chinchino. These things can hurt if you don't have good stats, which actually doesn't really have good stats quite yet. And it almost sung at me. Oh no, it's still faster. Ah, you missed again. Oh wow, three in a row misses with Sing. That is just sad. And I'm already up to level 37. Alright then, good, good for you. And we get a Petra Berry again. Cause the the um what am I saying? The, um, rangers always give berries. Cause they're very nice. I couldn't resist making that pun. But anyway, whatever. We're just here to own with Axu. We're just on this route to get to the two blind bridge and own everybody with a little cup Pokemon. Just so he can evolve into what is, I think, an NU. Maybe are you? Which one is Fracture? At least one of those two, but... I just don't know which one. Basculin. Fine. I can take a Basculin. Ooh, Aqua Tail. I'm so scared. It's not very effective, you know. Crunch, I'm just a little bit more scared. And since X is kind of getting a little low on health, I'll just switch out. Go to Lee of any. Make things easier on me. I just want Axie to get up one more level to 38. That's all I'm going to be training it for. And pointless crit. Whatever. Because Basculins do kind of have pretty decent stats. They're one of those Pokemon where they're annoying to face. If they're on a trainer's team. But they do suck pretty bad if they're on your team. It's kind of the opposite of, um, like, Rog and Rolla, because Rog and Rollas are pretty good. Actually considering it for the walkthrough for a little bit. Turns like a flower blossoming in the rain. Good for you. Parasol Lady Lumi with Alamamala. Okay, I'm just gonna go for the taunt real quick, just so I, um... Don't have to deal with anything like, um, protect or wish or anything. Like all those Wi Fi Alamamalas. How much does a Dragon Claw do with no DDs? Wow, that was nothing. I'm actually faster than that. It kind of startles me. I can take your dumb wake-up slaps all day. No, well, not really. What I get for saying that? Uh, 
why does the bad luck always have to go to the YouTubers? Yeah, that's a general statement. Not just for me, it's a general statement to any YouTuber out there with Pokemon walkthroughs. The bad luck always goes to you. And again, I don't know if that crit mattered actually. But I'll take it out of the way. Okay, Jellyhead's grown to level 36. Very, very good. Any trainers down there? Okay, now. Uh, talk to this lady. You find rocks. She'll give you an icy rock at night, a heat rock in the afternoon, a smooth rock in the evening, I think it is. Oh, no, smooth rock in the morning. And, um, what's that other one? The moist rock? The one that increases rain dance. Okay, I don't know. Now, you're going to want to have yourself fully healed for this upcoming fight right by the bridge. And you're going to want to have... Uh, wait, what did she start with? Oh, yeah. You want to have a fighting type up front when you go across the two blind bridge. Because... Bianca. And she's gonna ask for a battle. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not gonna run the Raho music like I did in part one. <laughs> I think both of those were actually gonna be against Bianca. Whatever, yes, yeah, Stoutland. This thing is big. It's bad. And by bad, I mean good. And it will wreck you if you don't wreck it quick. And two brick breaks is gonna take the thing out. Very good. Semi poor. Um, I'm actually gonna keep Embor in just as a death father because I do kind of want to risk Axu. Kind of use an elixir. I don't care. Cause I want a power. I, I want more dragon claws. Then three, I think I'm on. And you're just gonna leer me. Well, very nice. Um, I guess I can just switch into a leer. It's not gonna matter much. Because the thing just has, like, leer, lick, fury swipes, and scald, I think. So, so it really can't do much to me with, um, Axu other than burn. DD. And these layers are actually getting a bit dangerous. A bit dangerous. I'm on two of them already. They're kind of getting dangerous. Now, just in case I'm slower. Yeah, I'm still slower. And you're just going to scald me. That did more than expected. Okay, so now I'm on two DDs. Double speed. Double attack. Let's go. Oh, I just barely lived. Fine. Oh, you bitch. You need another four store, really, Bianca? Okay, good. Finally, down it goes. That Simus poor took a long time. Superior starter Pokemon. Level 40 is her main Pokemon, the big bad starter of it all. Starter of her journey. It's at its final evolution on level 40. Ooh, cool. That may make it able to live a heat crash. Now, what the heck am I saying? Oh, wow. 
Apparently I was right the first time. And slam. I can take a slam any day. Any old day. Oh, are you kidding me? You go for like one health. So I'm just going to make this faster and go for the brick break just because it has faster animation. Jeez, one coil sure does a lot. It gets to live through two heat crashes. And Fro screwed over 37 and wants to learn rain dance. I'm not gonna learn rain dance. That decision has been final. Um going to Musharna. Now I'm actually gonna switch into Axu just for the experience. I know this is a really long part, but and especially a really long battle. And then I'm gonna go back into Flame Bacon just to death father it. I know, I want the experience that bad. And it's kind of sad. And I did not mean to make that rhyme. So yeah. And now, Frillish gets the final Bianca kill of the main game. I hope. Go Shadow Ball. That didn't do half, are you kidding me? I so expected that to do half. What was that? Oh my god, are you serious? You critted me? Uh, is Axu faster? Taking a huge risk. Okay, yes, I'm faster. Bye bye, Musharna. And I guess bye bye, part 44. Oh, I'm so close!